Welcome to Hub City Homestead. My name is Ruth. Join me and our family as we raise our chickens, grow our garden, and try out all the things that make a homestead. We live on a small property, so we're going to do homesteading small. Welcome to week three for Gomez and Muffin. We'll get to them in a minute. We also have other chores going on. Got a little bit of a storm coming in tonight, but um, with it getting so cold, I'm tired of hauling water out to the chickens every day in dishes. Uh, so we took an opportunity to buy some bowls, heated dog bowls. Now they're not heated chicken feeders, they're heated dog bowls, but should work just fine with my adult chickens. So here we go. Okay, so I need three heated bowls and power. So I've got some cords. Um, this is a handy dandy little extension cord that has four plugs in it so I can plug it into one outlet in the house and then plug it these two cords into that my trickiest one is going to be plugging it into the Sussexes into my black and white coop over here because there's no power that's really close so we're going to do the best we can here I'll take this I'm going to put this oh, through over here that. And then I'll have you pull it over to oh, plug it yeah. in. Okay, oh, here, Kaylee. There we go. Okay, so first I have Kaylee plugging in this extension cord that goes right here. And this one has four things in it, so I can plug the other extension cords into this one and uh, and be able to plug the, the two things in between the two. Next, we plug in our extension cords. Here you go, Kaylee. Uh, go ahead and pull it down next to where that black bowl is right there. Okay, you can get the cord out. Okay, so then we pull that all the way down there. Oh, and then I put that in here? Yep, and then we plug that bowl in there. Okay, so, and that gives this side. It's water! Let's flip it around. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Put the whole thing in there. So we've got that all hooked up and then we want to we've got the one things underneath the bucket so they should stay okay this part we don't want to get snowed on so i just take a feed bucket like that cover it up and that will keep that nice and dry the chickens won't bother it either hi chickens hi clown hi pretty clown you babies are good and so big 
So this idea to just use the wa dog water bowl, I got from the DIY different uh, channel. I'll link his this video below that he gave. He's in Michigan, and Michigan weather is similar to Utah. They just have they have more humidity, so winter bites a lot more than than it does here. And he says I just use dog bowls for my chickens in the winter time. Oh my goodness! I got lap chickens. I got lap chickens. I got lap chickens. Huh? I lap chickens. Hey, mommy. Hey, Jack. Mommy. Here. Should I make now. space for the other chickens? Hey, mommy. Here, I'll take you. Mommy. Oh my hey, goodness. Oh my goodness. Mommy. Are we up? Hey, mommy. What's up, Pip? Hey, mommy. What's up, Pip? Mommy. How you doing, Luna? Mommy. Pip and Luna were the first babies that we ever bought. Yeah. I thought it was a great idea to use dog bowls because they're half the price of a heated chicken feet waterer and they're a heck of a lot easier to fill up. Some of the I've got a heated chicken waterer out front and hi, hi Luna. And it is so difficult to fill up. This we can just use a pitcher. Fill it up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Oh, now your gloves are all wet. You're gonna have to let it. Yeah, you're gonna have to let them dry when we get in. Thank you, Justin. Clown. Hey, pretty girl. Clown is an olive egger. She is so dark. She's got this beautiful. I don't. I'm hoping we can see it in the video. Beautiful purple and yeah purple and blue feathering so pretty what, what is it you're so pretty a gorgeous girl huh you're in crow mother probably be afraid of the camera Baby chicks at this age are so cute and they they move around like they're on high speed. It's so funny. <laughs> How are we doing Wednesday? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys are so cute. We brought the chicks out for a little bit to get a little bit of sunshine. It's still pretty chilly out here. We're not going to keep them out very long. But look at how feathery they're getting. And they're so cute because they get laid over in that sunshine. And here, Justin, I'll do this. And then you can lean up and they'll get sun because you're kind of making shade. There we go. And, uh, they want to cuddle, they also want to sit in the sun, and we're going to take a, take a minute, a minute, yeah, that's all right, there's lots of poopies on this, we have to, we need to wash towels. <laughs> this is so funny to watch them, like, try and take dust baths on a towel. They also tried to cuddle together. Yeah, <laughs> cuddle, cuddle, huh? Cuddle, cuddle, sunshine. Look at little muffin. Oh, little muffin. Hi, muffin. You're getting big, little girl. I think we are. Keep sneezing. Over here with muffin. Oh, and we've got Gomez. Gomez, where did my wand go? Can I video Gomez and muffin? 
Good night, with you. Good night, Zinda. Nothing. That's an animal loss and never fun. Never something we look forward to or enjoy. You guys looking for your other little fans? Thanks, what you're doing? It's chilly. It's not that cold. Well, I guess it's what they're saying. Yeah, it's like it's chilly. Yeah, 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 it's Somebody go grab the wipes on the back of the toilet. What's down there? What did you see, Muffin? How for love you little bums are. She's a drama queen. She just chirps and chirps and chirps. But she's so different from the other ones. Her cute little yellowness. Hi, sweetheart. Do you see the dog? Yeah, we probably need to move the dog. You don't want to get off my arm? You want to stay up there? Is it warm there? Yeah, probably. You're a cutie. You're a cutie for cutie. There's her little wings. Good thing here we have Gomez. Gomez just pooped on my belly. Gomez. Huh? What do you think of little girl? Cute girl? You guys gonna be best of friends? So cute. Getting so big. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna cuddle? Are you gonna cuddle? A week ago, you watched as we planted some herbs for our indoor herb garden. And we want to bring you an update on how that's going with our grow lights. You can see right there. 
if I can get it to focus here. Right here, we have some time. So we've got our time. We've got one going down here, one going right there. Over here on our lemon balm. You can probably see a couple of those. We've got a little one there, a little one there. Maybe. It's hard to see. They're still kind of little. We don't have anything in the spearmint yet. Haven't seen anything pop up there yet. But over here on the cumin, we have little cumin bits coming up here. And then... The basil's come up really nice. I'm going to probably have to thin that one out. And then our cilantro is doing amazing. It actually barely popped out of the soil yesterday. And then by this morning, they were already an inch tall. So I'm really excited about the cilantro. I love cilantro anyway. So that's an update on... Your garden.